The story of the Phantom of the Opera has been told on the page, stage, and screen for more than 100 years. It centers around a shadowy figure who performs haunting music in the Paris Opera House long after audiences leave. It may not be quite as mysterious, but another accomplished musician is honing her craft after hours at one of London's most renowned venues. Ian Lee paid her a visit. There's magic after midnight at the Royal Albert Hall. Entering this cathedral of music, and in its vast emptiness, among the rows of empty pews sits a solitary figure. Commanding the wind with the tips of her fingers and toes. It's like this hidden world that people don't even sort of know exist while they're asleep in bed. Anna Lapwood harnesses the power of the organ's 9,999 pipes, performing to no one, yet everyone. To the side sits her phone, capturing each moment for social media. It's kind of like the artificial moon rising. Like including unaware correspondence. Anna's moonlight mass occurs when the organ is free, but playing it wasn't her first or even second choice. My mum turned around to me one day when I was a teenager and said, have you ever thought about taking up the organ? And I said, don't be ridiculous, mum. It's the worst instrument in the world. I hate it. It's boring. But I'm, I'm intimidated just looking at this. There's something about total immersion that just you progress so much faster and uh, you, you fall in love with it in a different way. What do you love about the organ? Oh my gosh, the whole building resonates with the organ. It shakes the foundations. But before Anna took off on social media, she became the youngest ever director of music at Pembroke College in Cambridge. Her students turned this midnight maestro onto TikTok. How did you become so viral? It happened totally organically with um, this collaboration with Bonobo that happened a couple of months into the residency. British musician Bonobo heard her play and a collaboration was born, electrifying fans and the music world. I feel like it's blown my musical world so wide. I was suddenly there with 5,000 screaming fans, screaming for the organ, which I've never had before. What did you feel in that moment? Oh my gosh, it was like ecstasy. I couldn't stop my, and even now I get goosebumps just thinking about it. And a lap on the organ makes some noise. Even Andrew Lloyd Webber took note. It is 5.30 in the morning. I'm in the Albert Hall with one cleaner and I'm about to scare the living daylight out of them by playing Phantom of the Opera as loud as I can. So classical can be cool. It can be cool, and it, it is cool. It is cool. Breathing new life and some coolness through these classic pipes. For CBS Saturday Morning, Ian Lee, London. Royal Albert Hall. I love Ooh, it. Cool. And whatever it takes to make something that maybe you wouldn't have thought was cool, mm. cool is amazing. I love Andrew Lloyd Webber's reaction. Yeah. I know. Bravo. Oh, I know. Yeah. Really cool. <laughs> that poor cleaner, though. Yes, right. <laughs>